work. The amount of force on an object multiplied by the distance an object is displaced. In this diagram here, or in this figure, we see a gentleman moving a box. He looks very angry. He is moving a box across a distance. So let's say he's going to move this box across um, uh, this distance here. So he's going to move the box, and eventually the box is going to be over here. In order to do that, he applied a force, okay? and let's assume he applies a constant force, force to actually pull or, or drag this box across this distance. Therefore, when we say work, we say that this gentleman is doing work on the box because he is applying a constant force across a certain distance. So the work he does is going to be the force times the distance. The specific formula for work is very, very simple. It is force times distance times cos theta. And we have this little cos theta term here because in situations where the force is not necessarily uh, parallel but at an angle, we always want to know the uh, horizontal component of that force. Therefore, we have this cos theta term here to, um, to account for any angles that, um, that force might be applied on. The only new variable in, in this equation is work. And uh, work is a quantity of energy, which we will uh, learn about in the, the, next, the next topic. Uh, the unit for work is joules. And the abbreviation is J. So this is the only really, really the only new variable that we learned.